Hey, what's up, bros? Uh, Adam here, as you may know me, Zinc Edits, and today I have a new tutorial for you guys for a very unpopular, underused effect, and it's called Depth of Field. Uh, it's, it's a really easy effect, it, it, it can be done in a few minutes, and I'm just gonna show you how, guys how to do that and what it looks like. Sorry, today I don't have an example video in the beginning, but I will have one at the end, so stay tuned for that. And uh, basically, this is a normal uh, screenshot, and then this is it after, after Depth of Field. Basically, Depth of Field is when uh, you blur everything except for the gun, or whichever whatever you want to leave unblurred so everything except the gun is blurred even this is blurred but the hands aren't and uh, it's a very easy effect and I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that now so what you want to do is you want to open up your Sony Vegas and you want to import a clip uh, one second let me find some clips I will go this one alright because this is the clip from the thing so what you want to do is you want to go to the spot where you want the depth of field to occur which for me is right there okay so you want to split that and you want to make sure that whatever effect that you add to the first one you add to the second so basically what you're going to do is insert the video track and then you want to copy this one and you want to paste it just above it sorry um let me get rid of this all right so now we have two identical clips above each other. So wait, right now I'm just gonna add some twigs over that just so it doesn't move as much. Okay. So remember, whatever you add to the first one, you have to add to the second one as well, just like that. Okay, so now to get to it, this is a very simple effect, like I said. So what you wanna do is you wanna come here and you wanna click mask, you wanna check the mask box. You wanna come, click this so you can drag and move it wherever you wanna do. and. Basically, you just want to find a spot where you can see everything that you want, everything that you're planning on cropping. So, there is good. Okay. And so, right now, I don't want this. I don't want this uh, name tag, uh, title, emblem thing. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to crop around his glove right there. It doesn't have to be the most detailed because you can feather it, but it's better if it is. Gonna come right there, and there you go. Now you have that part done. And now you want to make sure that the mode is positive. And now you want to come to the glove right here. Now this is the long part. I'll, I'll probably speed this up, but I'm doing a very rough version, so don't. Uh, you might want to do yours a little bit more detailed, but right now I'm just doing kind of a rough version because I want it to be faster. And so. Okay guys, there you have it. Uh, got, I have the gun and part of the the arm cut off. And basically, this is a very very poor job. This is a very poor job. And so you're gonna wanna have you're gonna wanna do a lot more detail. So I believe there's a spot right there. I just wanna get that. All right. So you wanna make sure that yours is really detailed. Take take enough time on it. And so what you wanna do is feather type. It depends on what you want to do. I'm going to do both. Actually, not since most of them. Yeah, I'll do both. And I'll just go up maybe two or three, maybe four. No. I'll go in. I'll do, I'll do three. Alright. So, what we want to do now is you want to take, you want to go up to Gaussian Blur right here. And you want to drag that and you want to put it on the bottom clip. Okay, so now it looks like that. That doesn't look too good. So you just wanna, you don't wanna have too much blur on there. So actually, you might wanna use the light blur, okay, like this. And it still looks a bit choppy, so you can uh, increase the feather in this one, just so it looks a little bit better. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. And um, like I said, you definitely, definitely, definitely want to uh, do this with more detail. Otherwise, it's gonna come out looking not that good. But you see, as you can see, this looks pretty good. I mean, the gun is pretty focused in the background, it's pretty blurred. And, uh, yeah, uh, thanks, bros, for watching. There will be an example video uh, afterwards, after this tutorial. And, uh, basically, if you guys have any uh, requests for effects that you don't know how to do, um, I'll try my best to, to, to 
to demonstrate or, or make a tutorial on it but if i if i simply can't make it because it's an after effects i mean i can try so don't no, no don't hesitate to ask about anything but I, I will try definitely so uh yeah just leave it in the comments uh leave it in the comment section uh, with any tutorials or any feedback you have on these uh on these tutorials all right so uh thanks guys for watching and uh i'll see you guys later um, also, I know I've been a little bit inactive for a little bit. I was uh, I lost a bit of motivation for a little bit, but um, I'm actually working on a dual edit with uh, my friend Melvin, and that'll be out in a few days, maybe a week. No, not a week. It'll be out in a few days. And if not, if his version isn't done, then I'll upload a mini edit or something like that just to keep you guys happy. And also, there will be a preview of our new dual edit series. Uh, either I'll upload that separately or I'll put it at the end of the video. Actually, no, I'll probably upload it separately. But, um, yeah, that's something that we're going to be doing a new style each time. It's going to be real fun. Alright, thanks, guys. Uh, peace out.